My schedule. This video is focused on all users or all members of eSchedule who wish to uh, look at their scheduled shifts in eSchedule. And more importantly, we're also going to talk about how you can uh, push, as we call your scheduled shifts, from eSchedule into your mobile device or the calendar software that you might be using. After you've logged into eSchedule with your username and password, if you go to the schedule menu and go down to my schedule, you will see a monthly calendar view with just your shifts on it. All right, so there's a couple things you can come in to the schedule preferences here if you want to make some changes in terms of how this is displayed. Uh, but otherwise, you're going to get your uh, scheduled shift time, the scheduled position that you're on, uh, any uh, position indicators that might show up, as well as any rotation indicators. So uh, in this example here, this member is working from 07 to 1900, and this is their normally scheduled rotation shift. Same thing here, or recurrence rather, on the uh, on Thursday, April 2nd. Uh, so this is a nice view of your scheduled shifts. If you want to go ahead a month, you can use the, the back and forth arrows here. I'm going to go ahead in April, and we'll take a look at this member's upcoming schedule scheduled shifts again. Now let's talk about pushing your scheduled shifts from eSchedule into your mobile device. If you come up to the My Schedule menu, you're going to hit the uh, the More Options button here. A uh, couple things here. If you want to look at a calendar view, you can do that. Um, and then we've got the list view here as well. So just another way to look at your upcoming scheduled shifts. Uh, so that's an, a nice tool if you wanted to look at them in a uh, list format instead of calendar. Um, okay, so back to the iCal feed. If you come into uh, calendar and then you go ahead and hit the uh, the export to iCal button here, you'll notice that it gives you instructions on how you can set up what we call the web calendar or again this iCal feed that I keep mentioning. So we have instructions for Google Calendar, your iOS or Apple device, as well as Outlook. Uh, and what it does is it uses this link here. All right, so this link is specific to this member within this account. So every single account within eSchedule has its own uh, unique uh, URL. So if let's say I was using Google Calendar, the instructions are right here uh, in terms of how you can set that up. And then what'll happen you're going to copy it a clipboard, the link here. You're going to put that in, in this example, to your Google Calendar, and then your shifts will start to show up in uh, in your Google Calendar or your Apple device or Outlook. A couple things to note. It only is going to put in your scheduled shifts on the schedule itself. So whatever uh, shifts you might have on the schedule uh, will show up in the, uh, in the iCal feed. Uh, if you're signed up for any events on the events calendar, those will not show up in your, uh, in your phone. So keep that in mind uh, when you're looking at your shifts in your phone. That is it for my schedule. If you have any questions about this or anything else, please reach out to us. Thanks for watching.